Hey doctors or future doctors, how to diagnose a case of Cushing syndrome? Cushing syndrome diagnostic workup. First, let me encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Now there are 125 videos on my channel about various medical topics. But for now, let's get started. Cushing syndrome diagnostic workup. This lady has moon faces, buffalo hump, etc. Symptoms of Cushing syndrome. Diagnostic workup of Cushing syndrome can be difficult to understand and to remember. I'll explain it in four steps. So, we have step one. We do a 24-hour urine-free cortisol, i.e. we get urine 24 hours, i.e. one day, and we measure the cortisol in it. The normal level is 3.5 to 45 microgram per day or per 24 hours. If you don't want to use this test, you can give 1 milligram of dexamethasone. It's called 1 milligram dexamethasone suppression test. Dexamethasone is a steroid. It's like cortisol. When the body has cortisol or cortisol-like coming from outside, it usually suppress the cortisol from within. So if you do either one, 24-hour urine free cortisol or the 1 milligram dexamethasone suppression test, Normally, if you're doing the 24-hour urine, 3.5 to 45 microgram per day, that's normal. If you're doing the 1 milligram dexamethasone suppression test, less than 2 microgram of cortisol in the blood is normal. We are done. This lady or this patient does not have Cushing, period even if they have symptoms of Cushing syndrome, even if she is obese and she's having stria and she is having a buffalo hump, moon facies, if these tests, either one is normal, she does not have Cushing. Look for something else, period, end of issue. However, if either one is abnormal, we have to do more tests. Unfortunately, life is not simple. Okay, now the first test is abnormal. Let's get to step two. We can repeat the 24-hour urine free cortisol if this was our choice, or we can increase the dose now two milligrams of dexamethasone suppression test. Again, normal levels, I'm done. And the previous test was false positive. Okay, now I have confirmed this lady does not have cortisol. And the first positive was a false positive. What are the causes of a false positive in this condition? Could be obesity, stress, depression, estrogen, phenytoin, aka trade name Dilantin. All of these can be causes of a false positive test. However, if the test is abnormal again, I've confirmed this lady has Cushing's. Now it's a true positive. The previous test was a true positive and the patient has Cushing's. I'd like to do more tests. Why? What kind of Cushing? Where is the excess cortisol coming from? Is it the adrenal? Is it the pituitary or ectopic? We have to do more tests. Step number three. Now the patient has Cushing's. Let's do ACTH level in the blood. If it's low, that means it's an adrenal tumor. It can be benign or malignant. Usually an adenoma, benign. So now it's the adrenal. Why? Think about it. If your adrenal is making excess cortisol, okay, 
and I'm measuring the ACTH, it will be low because this cortisol coming from your adrenals will suppress the ACTH coming from your pituitary. Fine. What if the ACTH level is high? Now maybe the pituitary is the source because the pituitary secretes ACTH. The ACTH is high means the pituitary is secreting more ACTH going to the adrenals telling her to increase the secretion of cortisol. And by the way, quick anatomy question. Which part of the pituitary will secrete ACTH? Is it the anterior or the posterior? Please let me know in the comments. Or the other option can be ectopic tumor. Wow, ectopic tumors will secrete ACTH. This ectopic ACTH, this non-pituitary ACTH will go to the adrenals and tell them to secrete more cortisol. So, if the patient has Cushing's, we have passed test one and test two. ACTH level low, adrenal high, pituitary or ectopic. Okay, is it pituitary or ectopic? We have to do test number four. Let's get eight milligram of dexamethasone and give it to the patient. Eight milligram dexamethasone suppression test. That's an extremely high dose of dexamethasone. Okay, of cortis if cortisol is suppressed, that means the pituitary. Think about it. Your pituitary was secreting ACTH to get more cortisol okay but i'm telling your body that i have enough cortisol or dexamethasone in the body so please shut down the acth if it obeys it it's a pituitary all right and this condition is called cushing not just syndrome but cushing disease so there is difference between Cushing syndrome and Cushing disease. Cushing syndrome could be anything, adrenal, ectopic, pituitary, but Cushing disease specifically refers to the pituitary. Fine. What if cortisol is not suppressed? That means the evil ectopic is the cause. And please remember, ectopic do not obey. They are ectopic. They are evil tumors they do not obey the pituitary a normal body organ will obey but ectopic tumors do not obey cortisol will not be suppressed okay please review it this is easy but you will forget it you have to review it more than one time and now question of the day which tumors can be a source of ectopic ACTH? Like, is it lung cancer or whatever? Like, please mention all of them if you can. Let me know in the comment section what's the answer. And please wait for the next video. We will review all of this workup in just one minute. Stay tuned and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. If you need all of the questions, this is the sixth question in the series. If you need the previous one, go to my Facebook page. There's an album there called Question of the Day. And I'll see you later.